Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on umbilical vein catheterization, the indications for this procedure, intravenous fluids or medications, total parenteral nutrition, exchange transfusion or partial exchange transfusion, venous access in preterm babies, especially in extremely low birth weight infants, and venous access in neonatal resuscitation. The contraindications include necrotizing enterocolitis, peritonitis, omphalocele and omphalitis. This is the list of equipment needed for the procedure, which include UVC dressing set, sterile drapes, umbilical tape, umbilical vein catheter, gown, sterile gloves, and mask, antiseptic solutions such as chlorhexidine 2%, but to use diluted chlorhexidine 1 to 200 in preterm babies. 3 to 5 cc syringes filled with heparinized saline, heparinized solution for infusion, and three-way stopcock. For the procedure, place the infant in supine position. Clean the umbilical cord area and its surroundings with antiseptic solution. Place sterile drapes around the umbilical cord, exposing the umbilical area. Next, tie a piece of umbilical tape around the base of umbilicus. Cut off the excess umbilical cord with a scalpel leaving a stump of 1 cm. We also have to identify the umbilical vein. How do we identify it and differentiate it from umbilical artery? The umbilical vein is thin-walled, and appears larger than umbilical arteries. Next, use the curved hemostat and grasp the end of umbilicus to hold it upright and steady. Use the probe to open and dilate the umbilical vein. Once the vein is sufficiently dilated, insert the catheter to the desired distance. The formula of umbilical vein catheter is body weight in kilogram times 3, plus 9, divided by 2, plus stump length in cm. Then, connect the catheter to three-way stopcock and tubing. Secure the UVC either with tape or suturing. Stick the label of catheter onto patient's folder for future reference. We can also perform chest and abdominal radiograph to verify position of catheter. The ideal position would be above the diaphragm corresponding to the junction of right atrium and inferior vena cava. Consider removing catheter after seven days to reduce incidence of line sepsis or thrombus forming around the catheter. There are some complications that might occur, such as infection, thromboembolic phenomenon, cardiac complications, portal vein thrombosis, and portal hypertension. That's all for this video. Thank you.